Hello everyone. Uh, I just wanted to give you a keeping it real tour of my home sewing room where I've been working the last couple of months. Um, I haven't been going to my studio in town, which is most recently what I've been sharing pictures of with you. So I, I did bring my small Bernina home. That's the one you can see over there on the sewing table. Um, so here's a little bit about of what I've been working on. I've got some tiny piecing here. I'm sh also sharing the space with my daughter since she's home. She's working on a bag from uh, that's White's book. Um, she's done a few other projects <clears throat> recently also. So here's my uh, where I keep my fabric and I brought home some bins of things from the studio to work from. Um, so I've done a lot of working with scraps. So when I sit at my sewing machine, I have my design wall right across from me. So that's also some of the things I've been working on. And this small table here is one that um, I have for my grandkids when they come visit. And my daughter's also been using this smaller machine and my grandson who will, is almost four has also been wanting to sew recently and he's been sewing some squares together. Here's some things I've been working on. Uh, rectangular strips of scrap piecing then I moved on to some triangles and actually have a pretty big stack of those here that I've done the last week or so. And then here's some of my tiny piecing on the design wall. Um, we live in an old farmhouse that we've been working on renovating for a few years, so I don't actually have a door in my doorway. I have this big um, chalkboard kind of covering the missing plaster. And, and part of our redoing, we uh, uncovered this space under the stairs which has a lot of the toys for my grandsons to play with and then I've got my desk area here and the only closet in our house with a door that closes is right over there so that is the grand tour of my sewing room I do have uh, my larger Bernina that I've pushed down under the table. That's temporarily down there because I'm doing tiny piecing and I prefer my smaller Bernina 530 for making the tiny piecing units. So I'm going to leave you with the view that I have while I'm sitting and sewing. Thanks for joining me in my sewing room.